so this is why we are going to be making six pieces dress without joining you can see that we don't have any joining at the half length so there is no joining so six pieces dress now this is what we have and for the back block this is what we have we have the three piece at the back and why the we have the opening at the front it depends on where you want it to be so your opening could be at the front so you could wear it in form of a jacket and your opening could also be at the back if you want to fix in your zip so but for me mine is going to be in front because i want my zipper to be at the front so you can make it of either a zipper or a button and it could be either at the front or at the back so the essence of this six pieces dress is to achieve it without any joining of the half length so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so this beautiful african print is available at our store so if you want to place your order i'm going to link it down below it's actually an african print but it looks like a material okay so stay tuned guys basic instruments required we need our ruler a pair of scissors our tape a pen your tape measure and your pattern master so this pattern master is available at our store and one thing i love about this pattern master is it's very flexible so i'm going to put down the details down below so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly do so so now let's mark our basic measurement okay so we have our short our arm o measurement we are starting from our arm o measurement we have nine and a half inches our bust measurement we have 10 inches our under bust we have 13 and a half inches for under bust our waist measurement we have 17 and a half for our waist measurement so from our waist measurement we mark our upper hip that's a six inches and the lower hip is eight inches so these are what they call distance calculation and i have a video on that i'm going to link it down below at the description bar so from our waistline to where your six pieces is going to start from to your knee length we have 18 inches and we have our gown length to be a total of 60 inches okay So we are going to go ahead and extend it. So let me repeat myself again. Our ammo measurement is nine and a half. Our bust measurement is 10 inches. Our under bust is 13 and a half. Our waist measurement is 17 and a half inches. So from your waist measurement, you mark your upper hip to be six inches, your lower hip to be eight inches. And so you mark 17 inches for your new length where you want your knee length and our gown length is 60 inches so you mark your gown length to be 60 inches so after that what i'm going to do is to take my pattern master and connect the lines together so i'll go ahead and draw up and connect all the lines together and show you guys what it looks like so you go ahead and label it, always label it, arm O, bust, under bust, waist, upper hip, lower hip, your knee measurement, and of course your gown length. So after labeling it, the next thing you have to do is to mark, you mark your dart line, okay? So our dart line is or your bust point so we have eight inches divided by two we have four inches so we come to the bust we mark four <coughs> inches you come to your under bust you mark four inches you come to your waist measurement four inches your upper hip four inches and your lower hip four inches 
So what you do next is you connect the lines together. Connect your lines together. Okay. Now, why there is no joining is because from this place to your waist measurement, around this place is where you have your top length. So the continuation of this downward is where you have for your um, lower block. So you want to you want to make a complete six pieces dress without having any joining at this point. So when you've done that, you come to your waist measurement, you mark your dart line half inch on both sides, you mark half inch on both sides. So you connect it to your bust measurement, you connect it this way, and then you close it up this way. So this is what you have. So because we want to have a princess that, okay, we want to have a princess that effect with our six pieces gown. So we are going to mark three quarter. We are going to mark three quarter at our under bust measurement. So we are marking the three quarter at our under bust measurement. So you connect it to your bust measurement. Connect it to your bust measurement. Now you are going to make use of this um round shape at your pattern master to close it up at your waistline. So you do the same. You close it up at your waistline just to have this um princess that bustier, okay? So now after that, what you have to do now is to mark 5 inches at this upper block. So we want to mark 5 inches. Okay, connect this your dart line upwards. Connect your dart line upwards. So make sure you have 4 inches. So by the time you mark it now, you are going to have 4 inches. Okay, so that's 4 inches. Now from this your dart line, mark 5 inches. Mark 5 inches from this dart line. So you connect the 5 inch to your bust measurement. So connect your 5 inch to your bust measurement. What we want to do here is to achieve our princess that bustier for the upper block, okay? So when you are done with that, for the lower block, let's, let's face the lower block now. So for the lower block, you mark your 4 inches, that is your dart line. Mark your 4 inches, which is your dart line, all the way to your gown length, okay? So don't forget that we want to achieve 6 pieces dress without um joining so we mark our dart line all the way down so i'm going to connect it all the way down to the gown length so this is what we have we've connected our dart line all the way to our gown length okay so now let's move back to the upper block so this five inch we made here we are going to close it up we are going to close it up because um, this is the effect of a princess that was there. Okay, so we are going to close it up with your tape measure. So you secure it well. So when you are done with that, you can now mark your basic measurement. This is for the front block. So you mark your basic measurement. So our shoulder measurement, our shoulder measurement, okay, because this becomes your new um, edge. So our shoulder measurement is 14 inches. We have 14 inches divided by two. We have seven inches. So for our shoulder, we have seven and a half inches. So for our bust measurement, we have 10.5 inches. Look at the way I'm measuring this part because You've closed the top, so you have to be very careful when you want to measure this part. So we have 10.5 inches. 10.5 inches. So you mark your 10.5 inches. For your waist measurement, for our waist measurement, we have 10 inch, inches. So we are going to mark 10 inches. And for our hip measurement, always mark your hip measurement at the lower hip. So for our hip measurement, we have 10.5. So we have 10.5. So 
our new legs our new legs we have 10.5 so you deduct one inch or one and a half inch depends on how you want it to how you want the effect to really come out so one and a half one inch is okay so i'm going to go with one and a half inches so i have nine inches so we mark the nine inch as our gown length also nine inches so we go ahead and connect these lines together okay so go ahead connect these lines together connect your lines together if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly do so don't forget to join us on facebook sewing is fun by t design and on instagram we have 10 god designs i'm going to link down the details down below so we've connected the lines together and of course we have our full basic gown measurements okay now the next thing you have to do because this is six pieces we want to have the six pieces effect at this lower block okay we are done with the upper block but for this lower block this is where we want our six pieces to be so we are going to go ahead and okay let's mark the back block let's mark the back block also before we cut it out so for the back block we mark our zip allowance we have one inch for our zip allowance so we mark it all the way down so after that the next thing you have to do is to connect the lines together that is for your zip allowance connect all your lines together so you mark your dart line okay so our dart line is four inches we started from this one inch where we have our zip allowance so you mark your four inches four inches four inches all the way down then you connect the lines together okay so connect the lines together but for this back block you are not going to extend your line um you're not extending your line to the shoulder okay so you just connect your lines together connect your lines together all the way to your gown length so after that you label your measurements it's always good when you label your measurements so you won't get confused along the line so we have our arm or our bust under bust waist measurement upper hip lower hip our knee length and of course our gown length so we we'll come to our waist measurements let's mark the half inches on both sides to give us our dart line okay so we have this we close it up at the lower region you mark this way and you close it up now you can see that um this is what we have for the back block and for the front block you can see we have this um, um extension you can see we have this extension for the front block because we want to achieve a princess that bustier uh, for the front block and of course for your back block we just want it to be a normal that okay so when we are done with that we mark our measurements also so for our bust measurements we have 10.5 our waist measurement we had nine we have 10 inches for our waist measurement 10 inches for waist measurement our hip measurement was 10.5 inches so we do the same at the knee length, we will take away one and a half inch, so we have nine inches, and of course, we extend the nine inches all the way to the gown length. We have nine inches, so I'll go ahead now and connect all the lines together. Connect all the lines together. So, when you want to connect your waist to your hip, it's always um, you have to make use of this round shape of your pattern master so you can have that hip effect at your um hip line okay so you connect it down you go ahead and connect it all the way down so basically this is what we have we have the back block and we have the front block so now let's mark our arm o measurement our shoulder measurement 
our shoulder measurement is seven and a half inches now don't forget to always take away your shoulder slope our uh, shoulder slope is one and a half or one inch it depends on what you want and so for the neckline we have three inches so we we'll do the same for you do the same for the front block you mark your three inches and of course we've marked our seven and a half inches so go ahead and have your shoulder slope so the next thing you have to do now is to get your arm off so with your arm or curve if you are not good with making of your pattern master you can just use your hands to get your arm or curve so i think it depends on what you want actually so you get your arm or curve now with this with this you can see that the um back arm o is higher than the front arm o so we are going to transfer our shoulder i'm going to teach you guys how to transfer your shoulder so we transfer this back shoulder to the front shoulder so your shoulder your arm o measurement will be equal because basically this is where our front arm o starts from and this is where the back arm o starts from so we are going to transfer the shoulder to balance it up later so that is later on when we are true so now we are through with the upper block. We have our precess that bustier. We have our basic that this way. And because it's a six pieces, six pieces dress where we don't have any joining. So you can see I, I didn't join anything. So what we are going to do now is to cut it out. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, cut out the front block and cut out the back block and show you guys what next you have to do. So after cutting it out, this is what we have for the front block and this is what we have for the back block. So because we want to achieve a 6 piece, we are going to go ahead and cut out this dark line. So we'll go ahead and cut out this dark line and show you guys what next you have to do. So after cutting it out, you can see you already have the shape of your princess dart. Even without padding it, you have your shape of your princess dart. So if you want to, I'm going to link down the video of my six pieces skirt down below. So in order for you to have a better understanding and you can join us for training also. So this is what we have. This is our side and this is our center fold. Okay. This center fold simply means that when you want to cut it on the fabric, you fold your fabric into two and then you cut it. So give you one single piece and then you cut two of this your um, side piece to make it three pieces so now let's achieve our let's go ahead and achieve the princess um the six pieces so the effect of the six pieces is going to start from our knee length so that's why we mark this knee length and we took away one and a half inches if you can remember so you can have this curved effect around your knee length so for you to achieve this your um six pieces what you have to do is to keep your side aside, keep your side block aside, and let's treat the um, front block first. So you, you determine how many inches you want your six pieces to have, and how many inches depends on the fabric you are working with, and how full you want it to be, basically, okay? So now... We are going to make it of six inches. You can make it of six inches, five inches. It actually depends on what you want. So you can notice that I, I only tape this from the new length. Okay. So now let's go with six inches. So you mark your six inches this way and you connect it. So this becomes your gown line, your gown length. So you connect it to your new point, making sure that your new point is pointed. So you connect it just to give like a triangular shape. Okay, that's just what you want to achieve, this triangle shape. So I haven't done that. You go ahead and cut it out. So the number of inches you use at this lower block determines how full you want it to be. Okay, so this is what you have. You can see you already have the effect of your six pieces at the lower side. So you have this, and there is no joining. We didn't, we didn't join anything at this part to give us that effect. And yet you still have your princess that, okay? 
So we have this, we tape this carefully. Make sure you tape it properly. Okay, so just to secure the two um, papers together. So we set it aside. So your side, you do the same thing for your side. So your knee measurements, you place it like this. Okay. It's just good when you turn it this way so you can minimize your paper or your fabric. So you mark six inches also because that is what you are using. Note that um, whatever you start with is what you are going to end it with. So we have six inches this way. It simply means I'm going to tape it at this point. Six inches. So just to have my triangle effect again, I just use my, my pen to connect the lines together. So we go ahead and we cut it out. So this is what you have. You've cut out your neckline. So this is what you have. You can see the effect of your princess that, um, of your bustier, rather, of your bustier. So this is what we have. And so you can see there's no joining. We've eliminated that joining at the waistline. So we connected it this way. And you can see the effect of our six pieces at the lower side. Now for this front block, we join it at both sides. You join your extensions at both sides. And while for the side block, you only join it to this side because this is where you have your sewing allowance. So this is what you have. So when you want to cut your fabric, it simply means that you are going to cut two of this your side. You cut this side, two of it, okay, for the two sides, one and the second side this way. And when you want to cut your center fold, this is our center fold, it simply means that you fold your fabric. So you fold your fabric to cut your center fold and then you cut two of these. So this is what we have for the front block. So you can join us for training. I'm going to put down the details down below and you guys look at the effect of the lower side look at what you have for your six pieces so and this is what we only made this of six inches so imagine if you made this of eight inch or nine inches for your gadget you're going to have a very full lower side so and we have our bustier effect also we have our bustier effect also so i'm going to set this front block aside and take our back block and take our back block and we are going to do the same for this back block i'm going to show you guys how to transfer your shoulder don't forget because if you cut your fabric this way um your shoulder is going your arm is going to be wrong so i'll go ahead and cut out this and after cutting it out i'll show you guys what next you have to do so after cutting it out this is what we have so we are going to go ahead and and don't forget to always um cut away this part so that your back line can can fall easily so we're going to go ahead and start adding our piece of paper to give us the effect of the six pieces okay just like the way we did for the front block so i'll go ahead and introduce my gorgeous don't forget to watch our video on how to cut six pieces skirt without dividing your measurement by six so after doing that i'll show you guys what next you have to do so after adding your gadget this is what we have for the back block so because the back block we have a zip so you are going to cut two pieces of this and two because the um you are going to cut two piece of this because you are going to have the zip allowance and then you cut two pieces of this so for your back block you are basically cutting this into two and this into two to give you your three pieces but your zip allowance okay so now this is what we have you can see the gorgeous so let me just add up this we only have four blocks and you can see how full it is so by the time you have the complete um the complete four piece and the complete three pieces it makes it very very full so now we want to transfer our shoulder so i'll be needing only the back shoulder where we have our arm holes, rather where we have the two arm holes okay so this is the front piece this is the front piece where we have the arm hole 
and this is the back piece where we have the armhole so once you transfer it together so it can be equal so the first thing you can you will notice that look at where our front armhole started from so it's actually very small and look at where we have for the back armhole it's actually very wide so we want to balance it up so what you will just do now is to bring the two shoulders together then you tape it you tape it after taping it you take your tape measure you measure what you have for the round the total okay measure what you have for the total this is two inches you fold it this way nine inch inches 16 inches so for the total we have about 20 inches so you do it again just to be sure that is what you have for the total so you have about 19 and a half inches so 19 and a half inches you divide it by two you divide it by two so you have nine three quarter so you fold your you place this your nine three quarter to indicate where it gets to so when you've done that you go ahead and mark it When you've done that you go ahead and mark it so we have nine three quarters so you place it carefully this is where we have it so what you will go what you will do now is just to connect it this way and you cut it out so this becomes your arm hole for the front you you've You've taken out of this back arm or you've transferred out of it to this to your front arm or to balance up so this is the extra we have can you see this extra is what we have at the back so we've transferred it to the front so by the time you mark your front measurement this way your front arm or you have 10 inches and by nine to quarter and by the time you uh, mark your back arm or you also have the same measurement so this is what we call transferring of shoulder to make it equal so your arm hole is equal and is balanced and you can see we achieved our six pieces dress without any joining and we also made it very full so you can join us for training i'm going to put the details down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video bye the six pieces is, is also very full look at the lower side of it you can see it's very full look at what we have for the extension of just one gadget so this is a very full six pieces at the lower side and of course the upper side of it is fitted so stay tuned and don't forget to drop your questions or your topic down below i love this fabric